Hello, my name is David Bohr and I'm an Apple Professional Development Consultant. In this video we're going to look at learning maths uh, in the classroom with the iPad with a particular reference to uh, learning algebra. So if I was a teacher in a classroom and I wanted to teach someone some algebra, this is how I could do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the iTunes app and here we have some great resources uh, to do with uh, different subjects but in particular algebra. So I'm searching for algebra here and uh, it's found some great resources and one particular resource I'm going to look at is the uh, Khan Academy resource for algebra and here I can see separate lessons for different parts of uh, the algebra curriculum and I can click on one of them and download them free of charge and uh, let's get another one here so I've downloaded two lessons already. So I'll click away from uh, the course here and uh, go back uh, to, so I click on Cancel Next, and then I go back to the library. And here you'll see there is a course for the Khan Academy. So let's click on it. And I'm going to listen or watch this first episode from the Khan Academy. Welcome to level one linear equations. So let's start doing some problems. So let's say I had the equation five, that's a big fat five, five x equals 20. So at first this might look a little un unfamiliar for you, but if I were to rephrase this, I think you'll realize this is a pretty easy problem. All this is, this is the same thing as saying five times question mark equals 20. And the reason why we did the notation a little bit, we write the 5 next to the x because when you write... So this video can be used in a number of ways. It could be used as a reinforcement if I've uh, taught uh, my students something, or it could be uh, used as a pre-lesson uh, activity for students to do before they actually uh, come to the lesson. But uh, it's a great resource and very useful. So I've come out of that and uh, what I'm going to do now is ask my students to do some reinforcement work using an app called Algebra Touch. So what they're going to do is do an activity that focuses on what they've just uh, learned and had reinforced in the Khan Academy. So here I'm going to choose uh, isolation because that's really what uh, we were doing was isolating x. And here I have a number of different ways I can look at it. First of all I have the explain and this takes me through step by step what I need to do to solve this equation. And uh, then I can solve it and here's the solution. I can uh, then be given another uh, uh, equation and then I can go to the practice mode which allows me to see if I've learned what I've been shown. So once I've done that, wouldn't it be great if I could get my students to do something, for example, to show me what they've learned. And here I am using an app called Show Me. Now Show Me is a whiteboard and what I'm asking my students to do is to explain how to solve that equation. So they've chosen uh, a pen and now they're recording what they're doing step by step uh, throughout the process. And here we're showing that yes that uh, three's got to move over to the other side and then the, uh, the plus sign changes to a minus i uh, choosing the rubber now and I'm going to rub out uh, that bit there and let's go all the way over here, rub that out and then uh, put the, uh, the uh, three over there and I can solve the solution. Now this is a great assessment tool because I know if my students can do this they actually have a, a great understanding of what they've learned. So I've stopped this, I need to uh, give it a name And put this in here and then I can click on save and the video plays. Now this is on the iPad but I have the option also of exporting this as a private or a public video which is posted to the Show Me website and people can go back to it and see the video and I can as a teacher assess what the student has done. So in this video we've seen how the iPad can be used as a learning tool and as an assessment tool. 